Well, hello there. Thanks for stopping by. And uh, this is episode 33 of The Evidence. This is your buddy Dave over at Mars X3D. And we have some really interesting things to look at today. A few things out of the past and a few things that uh, were found just very recently. So uh, let's dive right into it. And by the way, I sure hope you're taking the time to learn X3D and view this stereographic channel in that manner. It makes a big difference, believe me. Here we go. I'll admit this one is kind of stretching it a bit, but I can't help myself. When I see something circular in all that wasteland of debris, I just gotta take a closer look. We've talked about mud fossils before. If you've studied them a bit on YouTube, well, it seems pretty apparent that Mars had ideal conditions for forming mud fossils, and it's just possible that this is one of them. Look at those even concentric circles on the left end of whatever this is. About halfway down the side, there's a small arm sticking out, kind of like what you'd find on a slot machine. Really now, I'm not saying we've discovered a slot machine. Just trying to assign some meaning, some kind of visual reference to what we find here. Let's get in tight. You know, I just can't help thinking that's some kind of machine. It really looks like a jet turbine inlet to me, and certainly not the product of random erosion. I'm wide open to suggestions on this one. I'm really liking the new Giga Macro site that Neb discovered. The images seem much more clear than on Giga Pan, plus it seems a lot easier to search. You ought to check it out. Anyway, this one caught my attention, sticking out of the sand on the hillside. That darker portion inside the target area reminds me of a, a turnbuckle, an exceptionally large turnbuckle. The oval end, the parallel sides that seem to be metal gleaming in the noonday sun, and that central rod, well, that's either some pretty fancy erosion, or I have terminal pareidolia. How anyone can look at this and say it's a natural object is beyond me. I appreciate scientists and all the hard work they do, but there are some who are so overly cautious that they completely miss the forest for the trees. I remember back in the late 1800s when experts insisted that heavier than air flight was an impossibility, and that if you traveled faster than 25 miles per hour in a locomotive, you would surely die. You probably already know the definition of an expert. An X is a has-been, and a spurt is a drip under pressure. This is an older one from the Mars X3D vault, where we keep all our highly classified and uh, <laughs> Never mind, I'm being silly. But it is an older one, and I was attracted to the fact that that uh, kind of overhanging boulder seemed to have fossil-like objects embedded in the lip and, and around the front of it. Now this view is pretty subjective, and we really don't have anything non-fractal to pin on here, but the ground does seem to be littered with fossil-like rocks, and the stone over there on the right almost seems to be staring at the camera. But take a look at this one. I mean, it's easy to see clusters of what appear to be crinoid-type fossils, with the lighter colored one dead center being very distinct. We know that Mars was once a water planet, like Earth. Given the other fossil anomalies littering the surface from the seashells, discovered by Sir Charles Schultz to skulls and skeletons, vertebrae, and other rock-bound fossils, it seems entirely likely that what we have here is a clean example 
of a once-living marine invertebrate. This next one was taken with the front has cam and it reveals something that a number of us jumped on, but as far as I know, Jim Hopton was the first one to isolate it and point it out for us. Take a look at this. How much more clear or non-fractal could this cylinder be? I mean, there it is, right in front of your eyes. And it has a spindle or an axle or something coming out of the center front. It's obviously not a rock. Thanks to Jim Hopton for pointing this out. Hey, thanks for stopping by and spending a little time with the evidence. It would mean an awful lot to me if you would take a moment to give me a thumbs up and uh, maybe even subscribe. This is your buddy Dave over at Mars X3D. Be well.